Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to patch the original Super Smash Bros 64 and add your custom maps to it. So on this website right now, it's called N64 Vault. There's actually loads of brand new custom maps which we can install to Super Smash Bros 64. So basically, you will need an original Super Smash Bros 64 ROM, but this thing is pretty cool. You can run this with Project 64, um, which is an emulator, or if you have one of these, an EverDrive 64, you can actually play this on your original Nintendo 64 and they work perfectly fine but these are all of the maps that we get now these maps have actually been updated very recently and um, if you click on them it tells you the date so this one uh, no, oh this one was even yesterday so yeah a lot of brand new maps and it's pretty cool so basically on this list right here you want to find a map that you like the look of um, you can install multiple I'm just going to go with one for this video and I'm going to choose Shrek so once you've selected a map you want all you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom oh and this is the um, guy that made it by the way Snooplex made this map but scroll all the way down to the bottom and just click on the zip file right here and then that will begin downloading now once you've got your map downloaded you want to go to the second link in the description and this will be the program that we will use to patch the map onto the official ROM. So just click on download file now. Now we will need to enter in this password. So simply copy the whole line of text and just paste it into this box here and then click on I am human and that will start downloading. So now I can head over to my PC's downloads folder and you guys will see here's the map I got. Here is my official Smash Bros ROM. It's entirely up to you where you get this from. Mine's in the Z64 format and that works perfectly. And then here is the patching software called xdelta which we just downloaded so let's double click on the map first and simply double click to open this file and the one that says xdelta at the end drag that out to your downloads folder next we want to open up xdelta ui so double click on the zip file and you actually want to double click on the ui.exe and then it will open up the ui for you now this is like portable you don't need to install any software to run this simply we need to do patch click on open select the map that you downloaded in the x delta format now click on open again source file uh, click on open this is where we choose our official smash bros nintendo 64 rom as you can see mine's right here so click on open now we need to choose the output file click on the three dots and this is what you want to save the game as so i'm just going to type in um, smash bros um, new map or something like that just give it any really name and then just click on save and now just click on patch it should say the file patched successfully now you can click on ok and simply close out of the user interface so here is our rom what we can do is actually right click go to properties and you at the end you actually want to put dot z64 i probably should have added that last time but we're just going to click ok and now you can see it's actually um, in like the proper game it should be the exact size as the original game so what we're going to do is get our new patched game right click and copy it and i'm going to put it into my project 64's roms folder so this works on pc android you can literally run this rom off anything as i said it works on the everdrive 64 um, you know you can run them off the SD card if you have them but first of all let's just run this on project 64 because this is how I play my Nintendo 64 games so let's just go ahead and open this so on the project 64 emulator I'm actually using um, one of my controllers but I'm going to go to file open ROM now once in our downloads folder or in the project 64 ROMs folder we need to find our game so where was mine so mine is this one right here smash bros new map i'm going to click on open now i'm just going to let the emulator run as you can see it even came up with a picture of shrek just to let us know um, that it's actually working but let's just try and test out the map anyway here you go super shrek bro so we're going to press start um, let's just do one player and now you guys can see they were on the shrek maps and it works so yeah um it's pretty cool um <laughs> well obviously there's a lot better ones than shrek this is more of just a joke but you guys get the idea this is how you import custom maps into smash bros 64 and the coolest thing is you can run this on your official nintendo 64 console obviously i just have to use the emulator because i don't have the everdrive but yeah that is pretty much it for this video so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one